Hi, I'm Jim Cook. I'm engineering manager for Tiger Cranes. And here today we're going to talk about what crane is the best for me, whether I want a hydraulic crane or an electric crane. So we're going to talk about some of the features and benefits of both. Um, so starting off, primary thing that customers are looking for is cost, right? Uh, at least a lot of times. Uh, so as far as cost is concerned, if you look at an electric crane versus a hydraulic crane, an electric crane is typically going to be lower cost um, due to the fact that you don't have to have a hydraulic reservoir, um, you don't have to have a PTO, you don't have to have a pump, uh, all those things. All those things are inclusive to the electric crane, um, but they're all electric. So um, the other thing that uh, customers need to think about are whether or not uh, you're going to run this crane continuously or you're going to run it in a more uh, limited basis. So the duty cycle that we're looking at for an electric crane is about two minutes out of 10, 20% duty cycle. A hydraulic crane, you can run all day long, every single day. The other piece that we want to think about uh, is the controller type. So an electric crane, at least most models that are on the market, use what's called a bang bang controller. So that means if you push the button, it is on, it's on full speed. Now on a hydraulic crane, you'll have a, a proportional control. So you can, you can pull a switch and it will, depending on how far you move the switch, it will be at a different rate of speed. Now we at Tire Cranes, we have an intermediate model. So we've got an EP, so it's an electric proportional. So it, it is uh, an electric crane. So you get some of the cost value that you, you see in an electric crane, but you do have some of the proportional control. So you get that fine motor control. Uh, so that you can place an engine or you can do uh, those those things in tight spaces. All right, and then uh, the only other thing that I think is important that we consider is the idle. Basically, are you in a situation where you can't have your engine idle or your company has decided that you're not gonna do um, idle conditions on your chassis? So you've got a couple different options there. The electric crane does allow you to run uh, at a very limited amount with your chassis off, okay? Um, but if you're gonna have to extend beyond that, then maybe you're gonna use an aftermarket product like an all-in-one, maybe an N-Pack, some other uh, type of product like that. So that you can either get a hydraulic supply or you can use that to power some electrical ba batteries uh, to drive your electric crane. Both options are available. So there's lots of uh, pluses or minuses and there's some things that you have to consider for your specific application. Um, but those are the, the high points that we want to talk about today. So thanks for uh, checking out this video. And for more information, look at tigercranes.com.